Everyone who I respect and trust has told me that Macrahanish Dunes and Old Macrahanish Golf Club are wonderful. No one's told me about Dunaverty except for like three people, and they've all said, I'm going to love that more than anything else, and I'm a bit scared to go. What, what can you tell me? Well, I would say that those three people must have read A Course Called Scotland by Tom Coyne. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> Got to plug myself when I can. I mean, it's definitely a course that I rave about in that book. And uh, because, I mean, I think it's par 66, a shorter course, but it's right down at the tip of the Mull of Kintyre. So incredible views. Um, there's these crazy rock formations and outcroppings that have all this history to them. Um, there was a, a crazy battle there where I think hundreds of people were, were slaughtered at one point. Uh, I think Robert the Bruce hit out there. So cool history and a cool place, but there's a few holes when you get to the top of them where you're playing them and you look around and you just think, I can't believe nobody knows about this place. And yeah. I think that's the experience you'll have. Um, there's just a few, you know, a few of these crazy punch bowls and a few of these crazy climbs where you're just like, no one would ever build a golf course like this. Right. I don't know if they could. It's just the way the land is, and uh, and the world's better for it. You, you got to go to the Mullican Tire, and you got to find it yourself. You know, a lot of people say that you play better on a course that you know. Have you heard that? I think you're different than that. What do you mean? Sometimes it's easier to play a new golf course because it makes you not think about the hazards because you don't really know what they are. Absolutely. Alex and I will both be first-timers today at Denaverty Golf Club, just southeast of Old Macrahanish. Upon arrival, we noticed vast farmland and cattle grazing on nearby hillsides. Something tells me we might see these guys out again on the course. The clubhouse was simple and understated, except for a beautiful aerial photograph of the course, probably taken from a helicopter or a plane. And then six, and then basically you're looking to get all of this mess is probably where the heart of the course is. So it looks like the first handful of holes are pretty innocuous. And then we get into the real administration of Lynx Golf. Surrounded by farmland and the ocean, Denaverty is as country as it gets. The greens are rectangular shaped and the farm fresh smell fills the air, if you know what I mean. So how did it get its name? Denaverty. Uh, I think it's all named off the rock. That's uh, Denaverty Rock. There used to be a castle on top of that, and there was a lot of fighting among the Scots, the warriors. Massive battles went on. But this, this course is it's really beautiful. this for a while. The first hole is called, depends on how you pronounce this, Strangs. <laughs> There's literally cows on the fairway. <laughs> Did you see David just kick one of them? Did you see him like this? <laughs> That's what happens when you open a farm. <laughs> Alex has already asked me about the course record. She has a birdie putt on the first hole. All right, let me line it up now. <laughs> Not only are there about 14 cows on this par three, you cannot, there is no flag, there is no green. All you get is it. some cows and a stick. some guests for the round, Jim and Angus. You guys stay in the caravan park all the year or just the summer? Just the summer. summer. <laughs> okay. Sophia. Um, Sophia. Gus, you look totally different with uh, your tattoos. All right. right. I, I, <laughs> I was like, I know your name, but it's not. Okay, anyway. You guys are down to walk a few holes with us? Yes. Please. Okay. Any course knowledge is always welcome. 
Nice show. Right. Beautiful. I can safely say. It's the only time in my life that I've ever been on the third fairway and already made two, two new friends. So what we've got here is the electrified fence to stop the cattle going on the greens. You see them, two of them linked. We've got a fence over there as well. Two greens together. And you only get this at the Navarty. Everything gathers. When you go over that wee valley there, everything will gather into the, to the hole. Did you hear what I said, Eric? Yeah, this, this is, is the hole you're most likely to get a hole one in. Fantastic. There's and a few of our guys have had four holes in one here. At this hole. I would love a hole in one today. Unfortunately, is it playing 77? No. What is it playing? 140. 40? Interesting. Well, we're cutting that much off. So because it's downwind or because it's... Just the atmosphere is good tonight. Okay, maybe I'll... <laughs> I you, like you, that. You, all right. well, <laughs> you, you, what are you playing about an eight? Nine? Yeah. Yeah, you'll probably get there with a nine. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'm looking for a hole in one, Jim. That's the only thing that'll satisfy me. Unfortunately, you won't see the hole in one if you do get it. Guys! <laughs> Put it in the hole. <laughs> yep. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, another. Who am I caddying for? Oh, sorry. <laughs> A bit of a discrepancy here yeah. with the uh, <laughs> club selection from a person a who's, I just realized, Scottish not my caddy. Oh, I'm worried that we're not going to finish. What time is it? it I don't be, know. You're only really on all four. It's super it slow. It used to be sheep. It used to be sheep over the river, but... Oh, sheep on the course, though? Yeah, there was sheep over there, over that side. Oh. But we don't have the Apparently the course goes all the way up to that hillside. So, we've got some walking to do. We came across a cute little house on Denaverty Rock. Sitting outside the front yard was a couple just enjoying the afternoon. Shockingly, they said that they don't play golf, but appreciate the sheer beauty of the course. Also, for those wondering, their house is not up for sale and will probably never be. <laughs> not hard to see why. All right, fifth hole. Imagine living there. Yeah, but you can see what they say when they say step out. That's your view. It's unbelievable. Fifth hole. I think it's a par four. Yeah, par four, 257. Look at this green. I mean, the green's right behind you there. You can see it. I think this is kind of why you play golf. It feels like we're just playing golf on a farm. But it's perfectly structured to be a golf course. I mean, I haven't seen something as low key as this that is also equally as beautiful as some of the top courses in America. plays into its farmland surroundings instead of trying to be its own thing. I love that. The simple greens and sprawling fairways give it a natural feel that just makes sense. I've heard this course isn't on many people's itineraries when they visit the Scottish Isles. Perhaps keeping it is one of Scotland's best secrets. kind of like if you're driving down the road like every golfer does you see like a field and you're like put a golf course there that's what this is <laughs> yeah you also said that the course isn't very manicured to me it feels 
so manicured. Really? Why? Because it's like we're on a farm and it's manicured out to be a golf course. And if you think of it like that, that we're just on a farm and then you've got this beautiful fairway and a second cut of rough. Right. I knew that my American friends told me that Shiskin was going to be great and all of them had been to Macrahanish. No one knew about Dunaverty. And the Scottish people that told me about where we're going said Dunaverty is the one. Seventeen. Another one of these square greens. I don't know. I find it kind of inspiring that they're just like the greens of the greens. The course is kind of where it's at. Thank you.